in this video we are going to be uh, talking about uh, this uh, shake animation that we're going to create using geometry effect so uh, imagine uh, if you have like a tip calculator and when user is making your selections you want to show which field uh, is being updated by somehow uh, grabbing their attention to it uh, well easy way is like you know to create some effect like this it's very subtle and um, it actually um, attracts users attraction I mean users attention uh, towards what has been changed okay so uh, this is what we are going to be creating today and we're gonna see how we can actually achieve this with a custom um, uh, geometry geometry effect okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to create a struct uh, for shake effect we're going to use geometry effect okay and uh, we're going to take animatable data and uh, let's mark it as CG float going to create a modifier And this modifier is going to return sine x times pi dot pi times 2. Okay. And for the effect value, we are going to be uh, creating a transform. Projection transform. And uh, this is going to take CG affine transform. We're going to apply translation, so translation X. And we're going to say 10 plus the modifier that we have created uh, and supply animatable data into that. We don't want to move it in, Z, uh, in Y direction, so we're just going to say 0 for Y and return this transform all right so this is our uh, shape shake effect let's go ahead and uh, create something to uh, process this um, or use it so we're going to create state for selection so we want to show which selection user has made and initially it's really it's going to be zero and uh, we're going to create shaking if uh, the field is shaking or not and let's create tip amount array so this is where we're gonna define our tip amounts there we go okay and uh, in the body uh, what we're gonna do first we're gonna capture a value uh, and create a value and create it as binding uh, type for the int and this is where we can actually capture our selection and uh, we're gonna define getter instead of for these so we're gonna say get um, self dot selection okay and uh, set is going to be a new value in uh, so this is where we're gonna apply with animation and uh, we're gonna actually supply the animation self dot shaking dot toggle okay and uh, this guy right here is not does not need to be there and we're gonna say animation dot spring or is in out 0 0.3 there we go okay and um, let's say self dot selection is equal to new value there we go okay so this is where our set closes and um, now uh, okay so we have uh, 
we have everything okay so now let's create our vstack so return vstack okay we're gonna give it some spacing for about 20 points and uh, we're gonna say picker so let's create a picker uh, for a mount selection is basically the value that we are um, binding so we're gonna bind to that value and uh, then we're gonna say for each on tip amount tip amount dot indices so let's get the indices for tip amount ID by self and we're gonna say I in text self dot tip amount get the ID at I and assign it a tag as well for the I okay and then we're gonna say picker style is gonna be segmented picker style okay now um, for the text gonna say tip amount is gonna be tip amount self dot selection so whatever is there in the selection we're gonna show that and uh, font is gonna be title fixed size and let's apply our modifier for the shake effect there we go animatable data is going to be cd float self dot shaking is it shaking then supply one otherwise zero and uh, yeah let's put a spacer and let's put a padding around this guy there we go okay so let's go ahead and run this all right are expected yes I forgot that and uh, expected a separator a separator a comma is it there so okay all right let's go ahead and run this and uh, you're gonna notice our example is actually created and our shake animation is working great all right so yeah, so this is it for uh, this video. I just wanted to show you how you can create a custom shape effect, uh, shake <laughs> effect uh, using a geometry effect and then use it to achieve this kind of, uh, this kind of functionality. Okay, so hopefully uh, you'll find uh, these videos um, uh, helpful. Uh, make sure uh, to subscribe um, to the channel and hit the like button. Uh, that helps a lot and uh, keeps the motivation for new and exciting videos okay so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in next video thank you